Hello everyone, I'm back. My name is Himdad, an English teacher from Lezan Private School. And in today's lesson, we are going to discuss, uh, review the whole chapter four or five. The first the grammar section uh, on page number 46 is what? Future simple. Future simple, we have covered the rule for future simple, subject plus will plus verb plus complement. And let's give you an example. I will, I'll give you, I'll give you what? I'll give you a car, I'll give you something, I'll give you a letter, I'll give you anything that comes to your mind. I'll give you a book. A book. Guys, I will. If it's plural or singular, we use will with both of them. Both of them. But do not forget that we have to have what? Verb. Plus ed, plus ing. It should not be in the past. It should be in present. Present. Verb. Base. Base without anything. Give. Here. It should not take s or ed or ing. Uh, or anything. It should be verb. In the exam, I'll give you, for example, let's write down example, another example for you that I may ask you the same question in the exam, but I'll change the sentence, but you have to choose the verb without, without ing, ed, or s. I will dash a message. Yes, and I will give you four options. One, sending, or B, sends, C, sent, D, send. Sent. In the exam, I will give you a sentence, subject plus all, and I will ask you to choose, to choose or to fill in the gap, the dash, by choosing one of these. Shall we use verb ing after all? You have to have a look on the rule. <clears throat> we have to have verb. Without ing, <clears throat> without s, and without, it should not be in the past. Sent is the past of send. It should be in present form. So you have to circle the last one, the option uh, D. This is the correct one for here. It, this is the verb in present. Guys, it is future symbol. If you will memorize <coughs> the, the rule, it's easy. And if, if I will ask you to change this sentence into negative, you are going to add not here between will and verb, here, will, will not. And if I will ask you to change the sentence into question, you just put will before the subject and then add the question mark at the end of the sentence and that will be, because when I will give you a sentence in the exam, I will ask you to change the sentence into question or change the sentence into negative form. So you have to add not here or if I will ask you to change the sentence into question, you have to take all and put it before the subject. This is about the future sample, but the next, the next topic is adverbs, adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner. You know that we can make adverbs out of adjectives. Out of adjectives. But we have to divide them into four groups, four groups. Normal, no, let's say happy, happy, happy. Guys, group number one, group number one, easy. Guys, if you want to change an adjective into 
An adverb, we have to add ly. Add ly. Okay? If the adjective ends with y, we have to change, change y into i. Happy into i. Easy, we have to change y into i. Easy. Then add ly. Happily, this is an adverb. Easily, this is an adverb. As I told you, we can. We can make an adverb out of adjective. But if an adjective, we have an adjective, for example, in the exam, and I will ask you to change the adjectives into adverbs. If the adjective ends with, L, with Y, we have to change Y into I, then add LY. This is the first group. The second group, group number two, the second one, if the adjectives, if the adjective or the adjectives end with what? B L E. For example, incredible, comfortable, comfortable, incredible, Comfortable, incredible, terrible, or we have many adjectives that end with B, L, E. So what shall we do in that case? In that case, we have to do what? We have to erase, erase E, erase E. Then what? Like incredible and terrible. We have to erase E, erase E, and add Y, add Y without L. L as exist, like this. Comfortable, comfortably. L is exist here, so there is no need to add another L. Comfortably. We are just adding, adding Y without L. L is exist, comfortable and incredible, because these adjectives are ending with B L E. Incredible, we erase E. L is exist before E, so we are just adding. Why? This is the second group, group number two. Group number two. And group number three, or the third group, like what? Like what? If, group number three, group number three. If the adjective don't end with Y, or doesn't end with Y, or if the adjectives do not end with B, L, E, these two, we are at L, Y directly, directly, like normal, quick, slow, and so on. But these are enough. Let's repeat it. If the, the adjective or the adjectives do not end with Y and BLE, we are adding LY directly. Like normally, quickly, and slowly. Slowly. These are important for the examination. Please focus on this and the exercise on the workbook about this. And please focus on page number 51. It's about pronunciation. We have uh, some words to, 
that divide into two lists, A and B, that you have to match them together. This, this is all. And uh, please, focus, focus on page number 52 and 53, the review for unit, unit four. That's all. Welcome, good time.